Greetings and salutations, Rectechers. I'm Chef John, and today I'm gonna to be making an amazing recipe on the dual fire. It's so simple, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this one. We're gonna be doing some smoked chili. Let's go. All right, guys, so let's get into the ingredients. This is what we're gonna be using today. We're gonna to be using the Ray's Loco Gringo, often imitated, never duplicated, and the Chef Greg's Four Letter Rub. This stuff is delicious. We also have a little bit of chili powder, sea salt, olive oil, tomato paste, garlic paste. We have some black beans, pinto beans, and kidney beans, some crushed tomatoes, a little bit of chicken stock. And what makes this stuff truly special is we're gonna be using some chicken thighs and some smoked sausage. All right, so first step is we're gonna go ahead and get our protein smoking. Now, uh, I'm using a uh, andouille and a smoked sausage. You guys could use whatever you like. We're gonna go ahead and just cut this in half, right? Just like this, because we're just creating more surface area right now for that smoke to penetrate the sausage. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put this on the indirect side. All right, we're gonna get this bottom rack going. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get our chicken seasoned up. All right, so I like to kind of pull back the skin a little bit so I can actually get some seasoning on that muscle, this little chef tip. Perfect. Then we're gonna take our loco gringo. All right, we're gonna flip them. Perfect. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and hit it with some of our Chef Greg's four letter rub. Give him a flip. All right, we're gonna let these rest for about five minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and put them on the indirect side of the dual fire. All right guys, so we're just gonna take our chicken I'm gonna put it skin side down. Beautiful, we're gonna smoke that until the chicken reaches an internal temperature of about 145 degrees. Then we're gonna take it off and mix it in our chili. But first, we have to make the chili. All right guys, let's go ahead and get into making this chili, right? So we have our cast enamel Dutch oven. We put that on at the very beginning, so it's come up to temperature. So this is the simplest chili you're ever gonna make. So we're gonna start off by putting our beans in there, right? I didn't drain these beans. We're just gonna go straight in there. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and put our crushed tomato in. We're gonna add our salt, our chili powder, our garlic paste, and we're gonna mix this up. And we're just gonna mix this up. It already smells fantastic. All right, and we're just gonna bring this to a simmer. We're gonna go ahead, while it's coming up to a simmer, you can see it's already starting to get a little simmery around the edge, that's perfect. We're gonna go ahead and add some of the 
Raise Loco Gringo. We're gonna add a little bit of that Chef Greg's four letter rub. And we're just gonna mix this in. All right, let's go ahead and check on that sausage and that chicken. All right, so it's been about two hours. Let's go ahead and give this stuff a check. Wow, look at how delicious that chicken looks. It's gotten nice and smoky. We have that, you can see the sausage has already started to get, um, pick up some of that extra smoke. This is ready to get off the grill. So now that we have our chicken off, what we're gonna do is we're going to take the skin, because that's not gonna go good in the chili. Right, then we're gonna just take the meat straight off the bone. Right? All that delicious loco gringo. We're just gonna give this a rough chop. just so that all the pieces are bite size. Right, just like that, super easy. Then we're gonna go ahead and take our sausage. We're gonna do the same thing, just give a, a rough chop. Nothing special. Bite size pieces is what we're looking for. Now we're gonna take all of this and all this is going into the direct side of the dual fire. We're gonna put this straight into our castanello pan and let all this simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. Then we're gonna pull it off. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. All right guys, let's check out this uh, chili. Look, see how the simmer, you got that simmer going on? That's what we're looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a mix. It smells so good. All right, let's go ahead and add all of our delicious proteins. Oh, it looks so good, all right? All right, so we're gonna add some chicken stock just to thin this out a little bit. That looks and smells so good. All right, last step, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of tomato paste. Mix this in, and then we're gonna let this come to a simmer. Like I said, once it comes to a simmer, we're gonna let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then we're gonna pull it off, and it's gonna be absolutely perfect and ready to consume. See you in 20 minutes. All right, guys, so it's been about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, let's check it out. Look at that. Man, that looks so good. Look how nice and thick that's gotten. That's that tomato paste helping it get really thick like that. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing out and see how it looks. Oh, mama say, mama saw, mama son. That chili's done, baby. It looks delicious. The dual fire is the perfect grill. Smoky, hot fire. Mm, it's the best of both worlds. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I finish this. So what I like to do is, I get some corn chips, right? Now you could use Fritos, you could use corn chips, you could use your favorite Doritos, that would be perfectly okay. We're gonna give those a crunch, right? Then we're gonna come with some of our delicious smoked chili. Right over the top. Look how that chicken just shredded up in there. That looks so nice, right? Then we're gonna go with a little bit of cheese, a little bit of sour cream. There's nothing left to do but to give it a taste. Now I know this is gonna be nuclear, so I'm doing it for y'all. Cheers.
Mm. Wow, that's so good, guys. Smoky, delicious. The beans have all melded together. All of this is melted together. It's absolutely perfect. You get the smoky from the sausage. You can taste the smoke from the chicken. This is the ultimate one pot chili. Make sure you're following RecTech on all social media and make sure you're following me, Chef John Pinnell, on all social media. Guys, until next time though, we'll see you at the RecTech.